Hey, hey, hey everyone, Tankenstein here in this video. I've got your first gameplay and overview for the Tornado IDS Marine Flieger. This is a German rank 8 battle rating 10.7 strike aircraft that is coming in the current event. I believe it's what, Winter Quest at this point? There's so many different events. Once you get through enough of them, you just kind of forget their names and just vaguely remember that there's an event going on in the background. That being said, this is an interesting vehicle because it has access to the AS-34 Cormoran anti-ship missiles. Now, these are unique thus far to War Thunder. As far as I know, there are no other anti-ship missiles in game. So this is a first, and these are pretty damn interesting. So as you can see with the stats here, they have a lock range of 50. They have a launch range of 32. But they do not go past the speed of sound. So actually, there are instances where you will outspeed your missile. But they have a ton of TNT equivalent there. Decent enough armor pen, but really you are going to be hitting a bunch of ships that don't necessarily have the most armor. And uh, this should blow a hole in the side of those ships. Now, this is active radar homing, which means that these missiles will be able to, once you lock onto your target, they will independently go towards that target. So you do not need to have missile, or you do not need to maintain lock with your uh, vehicle's radar the entire time, which is very, very nice. Which means that you can target four different vehicles independently and hit them independently. Now, I have noticed that I have been having a ton of difficulty with these when it comes to launching against ground targets, so tanks, for example, uh, in that I've not been able to do it. And I went online to see if this was just me being an idiot, but it appears that other major YouTubers who know what they're doing have also been having difficulty, at least as of the release version of this vehicle. So, you know, it, it seems as though these might not be able to target ground targets, at least for the time being, which more or less makes them useless Unless uh, you're playing very specific game modes, maybe custom game modes, possibly sim. But uh, of course, I will show you how these perform anyways. But again, this does get a 0.6 lower BR compared to the ASSTA, which is the other tornado in the tech tree. And uh, it does not have guided bombs like this has, but you do, do get to carry the same exact amount of 1,000 pound bombs. You get to carry the same amount of uh, AIM-9Ls. So it is pretty useful in that regard. And if you're like me and you don't like to use laser guided bombs, this is still very good. Plus 0.6 lower BR. It's got the same exact AIM-9Ls. And, you know, the performance is slightly worse, but for a much, much better matchmaker at 10.7 BR than 11.3 I will take this any day of the week. So it looks like this will be your best bet when it comes to Air RB, at least currently in a tornado. So that's it. Let's get into a few matches here, see what we could do. And I'll uh, also show off the, or at least do my best to show off the AS-34 Cormoran anti-ship missiles. Let's get into it. So as I'm sure many of you guys are interested to see, I do have the Cormoran missiles, as you could see right here. And uh, I felt like maybe we should test those out first, being that that's, again, what a lot of people probably want to see with the Tornado IDS Marine Flieger. So, that said, we do have a bunch of naval targets here. We also have some ground targets, but again, as of right now, this is not really locking onto those. So, this should be a hopefully a good demonstration of what does and what does not work with this. But I want to get around 20-ish kilometers away before I start trying to launch. That way, it shows a little bit better the capabilities, in my opinion, of what this thing can actually do. So I'm going to go turn around here. I mean, this thing turns like a bus, um, you know, at least at this altitude. When it is fully loaded, so I'm going to slow down. Heck, even put some thrust reversal on if I really wanted to. I'm not going to, but so let's select my AGMs, the Cormorans, and right there. Okay, so we have a target. Boom. Okay. Don't want to target my buddy. Maybe I should radar IST search mode. See, it doesn't really do anything for search mode. I uh, don't want to change the scale here. Rather, let's see if this does anything. Okay, that could make it a little bit more annoying. But let's try it. You know what? Actually, this could work. This could work. So I've got four missiles going off. As you can see, I mean, these things are slow as can be. 
Well, let's see what happens when they actually make contact. Am I going to hit numerous targets? I know I will. But, um, as you can see, they just kind of guide themselves. So I've got one hit, two hits, three hits, four. So I hit four different targets with, uh, or three different targets, rather, with four missiles. So not all too shabby. Let's reload here and just try it one more time. I'll try some against those smaller targets there and then maybe against the pillboxes. Okay, so I got shot up by their base a little bit. On this map, it's a little bit easy to just kind of uh, forget where you're going. So I want to put my AGMs on. No, I do not want to attack my ally. Do not want to attack my ally. But... Can I actually hit one of those? Maybe not. They might be a little bit too small uh, to hit. So let's try this. That's fine by me. I mean, I really don't mind shooting off three of those. And then you have this. As you can see, at least as of right now, I'm not able to hit. Oh, oh, oh. Was that? Uh... Okay. It looks like it wants to. It looks like it wants to. So I think it's really more so just a problem with this being able to go after ground targets like that. Um, I think it's just really having to do with the sensitivity of it. This is not going to hit that guy, by the way. But um, it, I think it really has to do with the sensitivity of the radar rather than the missiles themselves so if this radar could actually target the ground forces which i wouldn't be surprised if they actually have that happening soon enough gaijin unfortunately has a uh habit of releasing vehicles uh before maybe they should but um you know who knows maybe maybe it'll get fixed sometime in the near-ish future but maybe, I mean, tell me if I'm wrong. You know, maybe that's not even supposed to be a capability of this aircraft. I'm not even sure. You know, so if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Then, uh, you know, this might not be able to target those. But I think it can. I think it could in real life. So it'll be interesting to see in the future. So that said, let's get into an ARB match. See what we could do. Have a good time. But as you can see, I mean, this is fairly effective against ships. And will be effective in, uh, definitely in naval... RB once we actually get to the point where we can attack ships like this. But uh, yeah, that said, let's get into it. Oh man, that's so cool. You know, at least for today and possibly for the uh, near future, for, so for the next few weeks and obviously to a lesser extent as the days go on, but this may be a meta shift uh, because almost every single plane in my match is a Tornado IDS. Which I guess is cool that people are out enjoying it. Uh, I'm wondering if that means that it's now that 11.0 or 10.7 is going to be kind of it. I mean, like the Lazar M is what? 11.0, if I'm not mistaken? So that kind of indicates to me that maybe we're in an 11.0 BR match. I'm not entirely sure. Is the EJ 11.3 actually? Eh, I'm so bad with, with BRs. But, that said, at least I've got a bunch of large caliber countermeasures and two AIM-9Ls. And these 23mm cannons are actually not all too bad. Plus, they actually have a decent amount of ammunition. Now, I much prefer American rotary cannons, personally. Which, by the way, are based on German World War II designs. Uh, I forget, what was it, like the Mauser 213, something like that. Anywho, so let's dive down in a moment here and uh, hope that we can do well. But yeah, I mean, I think that this is, this might actually be a down tier kind of, not a full up tier at least, which is awesome. That is totally radical. So I'm going to go for this F5 here. Now, again, I only have a very limited amount of missiles uh, which is unfortunate but I'll take it so this JA-37 wants some obviously he's gonna launch a missile in three two no he's not he's gonna actually try to fire a gun at me wow this thing is just not wanting to be a good 
person, but I am outspeeding him by a pretty decent margin. Woo! <laughs> Wowie, Kazowie. Holy cow. This guy is... Ah, that was stupid of me. Got the kill anyways, but it was with my guns. Wow, not too shabby. This thing turns like a brick. Wow. This is actually a ton of fun. <laughs> I mean, I guess any day is a ton of fun when you have all aspect aim 9 ls but still pretty shabby. I'm going to go for this A-10. Hopefully no one launches a missile on me. But once you get into uh, lower speeds, uh, especially at lower altitudes, this is actually pretty capable um, as an aircraft. So I'm going to try to go up on this JA-37. Uh, bear in mind, I actually started this match with 30 minutes of fuel. I'm not bringing a drop tank on this. Um, I've got someone behind me, which is a little disturbing. But I really don't care if I get killed at this point. I proved my point. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of a fool's errand at this point. So yeah, I'm going to die to this F5. But as you can see, I mean, if nothing else, that F5 was able to keep up with me. So that said, not all too shabby. Three kills. And, uh, you know, two of them with missiles and one with a cannon. So not all too bad. Okay, so I've decided to equip some Cormoran missiles here because why in the heck not? And uh, I think I'm going to be targeted probably by some F-14s, I'm assuming. Put these air brakes on a freaking... I hate, 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 hate. Okay. We have an enemy there. It's an F-5. We have another enemy here. It's another F-5. We have an enemy here. It's an F-14. I'm just going to launch these. I don't think any of them are going to hit. As a matter of fact. But... A man can dream. A man can dream. And then I've got one more target here. I'm just going to launch on him because it's an A-10. If there's anyone I'm going to hit, it's going to be an A-10. Now that said, time to stop being dumb. Looks like I got an enemy somewhere behind me. Yes, I do. Got an F-14 here. Launch on him. F-5C behind me. Got the kill against the F-14, of course. Very, very nice. Now, I don't really have many flares left. Um, so, got to make this one count. So, I'm going to go for this F-5. He doesn't appear to know, uh, to be able to tell what's going on behind him. Hopefully, I can get that kill. And boom, got the kill. Nice, nice, nice. Now, I'm going to probably go for this A-10 here. Now, as you can see, those Cormorants are not at all effective when it comes to anti-air fire, but that's to be expected. I do not mind. They're just there for poops and giggles. Now, actually, last match and something I did not record, but I did take out a bot plane, so like an F-86, F-30, I believe it was, one of those. And I was able to, um, nice, I got the third kill. And I was able to um, actually damage a ground target, but I think it was after my missile kind of went off course and it hit a uh, ground target. Got the kill, very nice. Woo, ha <laughs> ha yeah boy. None too shabby. I didn't get the hit, oh, I'm gonna die, whoa. Okay. Now, I don't really have much fuel left. This thing gulps fuel, man. Holy guacamole. So, I'm going to go for this A7E, but this match is pretty much already over. Let's see. Can I hit him? Nope. Cannot. But my... Oh, my! My wing ripped! My wing ripped. What an unceremonious way to end this match. So, that said, I can't really complain too much. Kind of sucks, sure, but... You know, ultimately, is the Tornado IDS good? I think it's disappointing that the Cormoran, at least right now, are not attacking ground targets. Unless, of course, they go off target and they accidentally hit one. But, of course, maybe it'll change in the future. But otherwise, I mean, insofar as an Air RB play is concerned, as far as Tornadoes are currently concerned in War Thunder, being that they are all 11.3 except for this, this is probably going to be your best Air RB Tornado. 
But is it really great in ARP? Eh, it's probably around average-ish around this BR. I mean, you can still do some work. Those cannons are phenomenal, but it is just a big, very uh, much a lumbering target. So it is what it is. So that said, thanks so much for watching. Of course, please remember to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Either way, thanks again, and I will see you all on the other side. Take care, everyone.